Okay, today I'd like to talk to you about infections and how you get infected. I would say at least five times a week or once a day or more than once a day, I get calls from people who got their computer infected and they never really understand how they did it. They just usually say they restarted and the virus or the infection was there. Today, I'm going to show you a few ways on how you can get infected. And so what I have here is a virtual machine, which is kind of like a Windows inside Windows, which I can infect to my heart's content, but still keep my main system clean. And I can restore it back easily to uh, do feature test. So let's start off with the fake antivirus. Now you usually stumble across these either through infected banner ads on websites, uh, Facebook advertisements on say um, Mafia Wars or Farm Town or even if you're doing a search for say pets on Google and you click on the wrong link all of them can result in this type of fake antivirus so let's go ahead and open up Internet Explorer and we're going to go ahead and paste in the bad URL so you're browsing along do da do da you click the link and then boom you're infected now at the moment, right now, you're not infected just yet. It wants to make you think you are. Uh, your PC may, may not have privacy protection system. This may lead, okay. Let's go ahead and click cancel. And then it takes you to this. Uh-oh. System um, errors, uh-oh. More detected. Oh crap, 32 Trojans, what do we do? Oh no. Okay, so this is called scareware. This is meant to scare you to make you, th oh crap, look at all those to make you think that you're infected. So at this point, you're not really infected just yet. In fact, this is all through Internet Explorer. Oh no, cancel. Really, oh. Okay, so now it wants you to install this file to get rid of the infection. Now this file right here, this is the infection. So until you run this, you're not infected. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, and when you get, oh. See, it's really hard to get rid of this stuff. Like, cancel, ignore, it just will not let you out. So the only way to get rid of this is to right click on the taskbar, show the task manager, find one called IE Explorer or for Internet Explorer or Firefox.exe for Firefox and click in process. Yes. And see how it all went away. So let's go ahead and do it one more time, but this time we're going to be the average user who just kind of agrees with whatever it's telling you. Okay, we're going to say go to your home page. There we go. No. Okay, let's go back. We're going to copy it again. Oops. And paste. Okay, so we're going to click OK. Okay. This is great. So it says, um, General Antivirus, which is one of a million names it has, will uh, scan you. Okay, please select Run or Open when prompted to start the installation. So it's saying, when we prompt you for the virus or malware, please, you know, let it run. Let's hit OK. Okay, so it's scanning your system. Okay, we're gonna say remove. Oops, we're gonna say remove all. Okay, so now it wants you to run this file, right? Okay, I'm just like, okay. Run. It's now sinking its teeth deep into the system. Just infecting the heck out of you. Okay, looks like it even crashed. Okay, there we go. We've successfully infected our machine with malware. Now at this point, once it makes it in, once it makes it into your machine, it can do with whatever it wants. It can install malware, it can install root kits, it can install key loggers to catch all your credit card information. It can um capture keystrokes to your bank, um, whatever it wants. So, now what it's telling you here is it's trying to make you think you are infected. 
So when it finally finds it to clean it up, you have to pay so much money for it. And once they get your credit card, then they steal it. Okay, let's wait till it gets done. Okay, we're gonna say remove all. Uh oh, but wait, we gotta register it. Okay. See? Here it is. They want your credit card information. And whatever you do, don't give it to them. If you do, you might as well just cancel the card because you're screwed. But let's hit accept. And there's all the credit card information, including the wonderful security code <laughs> that every site wants to make sure you are the valid owner of the card, which defeats the purpose. So that is one way you can infect your system with malware.